The kitchen at Worthy Down was filled with chefs all putting their own spin on plant-based dishes. The aim of the day was to inspire those who teach chefs in the military that there are delicious, easy vegan meals that can be created. Often in a really busy kitchen when you've got absolutely masses of you know, pressure and loads and loads of meals to deliver, the plant-based option is sometimes the last thing you think about. What we're trying to do is maybe get them thinking that if the plant-based option is delicious, yeah, it doesn't have to be for that tiny minority of people. We've got quite a few vegans now in, in the military, so um, they will be very, very happy with what we're doing as chefs. You know, trying to bring that inclusiveness of having them have their own d different variety of vegan meals. Do you reckon you'd swap a beef burger for a vegan burger? Not at the moment. <laughs> I don't think so. But let, let's see after I try that. You, you never know. It's never say never. We are going with the lasagna, so it's a pure vegan lasagna. There's no meat whatsoever. So we're using the ingredient whatever we had uh, this morning, such as lentils, as you can see. We have used a butternut squash, mushrooms, uh, dry mushrooms, sun dried tomatoes. Everything is literally going in the dish to make it look beautiful. And obviously, it's going to be different to what we normally have in a, in a lasagna. Is it a lot more difficult doing one and lasagna without meat? Or? Uh, no, it's, it's pretty simple. Instead of putting the, the meat mince into the oil, we are just using lots of lentils and lots of vegetables to make it look like that, that sort of dish. Once all the dishes were made, it was time for the taste test. I, I was surprised, honestly. Yeah, I did enjoy it. Yeah. And I'll, I will try it again. I will. So when I saw you before and said, would you swap a beef burger for a vegan burger? Yes. What's your answer now? 50-50. <laughs> well, it, it's nice. It's really nice. Everything around here. I'm, I'm quite fascinated with how everything tastes. I never thought it's going to be this nice. It's hard to describe. It's, it's soft, it's crunchy, it's hot, it's sour, it's everything. It's everything you need in the palate. And it's, um, yeah, very lovely. We've got some nice um, ideas to take forward into uh, the, the galleys as well. Um, yeah, really quite spicy and uh, the umami flavours come through on a lot of the dishes, which is nice, using different ingredients as well that I've never personally used before. Uh, so yeah, it's really, really nice. So how readily available is vegan food in the military? Generally poor, but it is getting better. So I've been vegan for three years now and the difference between when I first started and now is, is massive and you wouldn't have seen events like this a few years ago, even a year ago, you wouldn't have seen events like this. I'd like to go into, be able to go into a cookhouse or into the mess and be able to have a choice of more than one thing and not just be bland, plain food. You like to go there with your friends, so if, if I go in the mess, I want to go and eat with my, my uh, colleagues and uh, that's why the Vegan Vegetarian Network was created. To, to make, make us included. The Vegan Network hopes this workshop is one of many which will see more plant-based food available in the military. Lisa Hartle, Forces News, Worthy Down. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.